All right, hello ladies and gentlemen, Heaven Clone here and how y'all doing, bringing you guys another Fortnite video. So I've noticed recently that a lot of people have been looking for guides for specific locations in order to master them. So in today's video, I've decided to kick off a new series in which I take an in-depth look at specific locations to tell you everything I know about them. So we'll be kicking things off by taking a look at Greasy Grove. I'll be giving you guys a general overview of the place, all the callouts you need to communicate effectively with your team, a bunch of chest locations, and then we'll be going over some landing and looting strategies to dominate your enemy. Let's begin. Location Overview so Greasy Grove used to be one of the most popular landing spots before the new map update, however ever since it's received a lot less action. This settlement favors close to mid-range engagements and has a total of 15 chest locations among large amounts of floor loot, making it one of the better places to land. On average, you will find at least one other squad of players land there, so if you decide to go to Greasy, be ready for a fight. Also, you don't really have to worry about players who landed in other locations coming to Greasy later on, so if you manage to eliminate those that land there with you, you're very likely to be safe for the remainder of your time there, which is very good if you're slow when it comes to looting. Make sure to watch your map for the circle however, because Greasy is on the edges of the map and you don't want to get caught in the storm because you didn't realize the circle was far away. All in all, I would personally give Greasy a 9 out of 10, and it is one of my preferred landing spots. Callouts so before we continue on with the video, we're going to have to go over the Greasy Grove callouts, which are names we give to places to be able to quickly refer to them in the heat of battle. It's important to memorize these names because if everyone knows them, they can allow you to effectively call out enemies to your team. Also, going forward, I'll be using these callouts when describing Greasy, and pretty much all of the players I know use these, so feel free to make your own callouts if you want, but they probably won't be widely known. Alright, so getting right into it here with the... Uh, callouts of the video. I'm gonna be going over every single location one by one. We're actually doing this live in a solo match So hopefully it doesn't look like too many people landed here and we're gonna be landing here at the first location Which is doghouse. This is actually called doghouse because guess what? There's a doghouse here with a chest in it, right? So Looks like there's someone nearby. I'm not sure if he landed here, uh, but let's find out I guess we're gonna kill some people. So yeah, I'm gonna actually just get a, like a weapon or two to defend myself and then let's move on to the callouts. All right, I've got a revolver, good to go. Oh, even a, even better, an SMG, wow. The best weapons of the game, let's go. All right, so this is doghouse, guys. Uh, it's pretty typical, you guys see. It's just a brick house, right? But we call it doghouse because it has a doghouse with a chest in the back, all right? Next up, we have over here, this building right here. This is called bungalow because it's the only uh, one level house in the, all of Greasy, pretty much. Uh, a bungalow, pretty much, that's what, exactly what that is. It's a, it's a one-story house, right? With no basement, uh, I believe. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just looting here, like, out of habit. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, let's move on. Next, we have Red Brick over here. This is uh, Red Brick. So, this is actually one of my typical landing routes. I'm going to be covering that a bit later in the video. There's someone in here. Uh, so, this is going to be interesting. But normally, land dog house, go bungalow, go here, and go all around. It's like a loop around the, the settlement or the location all right let's kill this guy real quick how about that mm -mm -mm. oh okay negative awareness it's all good though it's all good i i didn't want him to have awareness anyways because i'm not here to fight i'm here to give you guys instruction all right so yeah after uh, looting red brick so remember this is red brick it's kind of, it's kind of obvious you know all, all the call outs are pretty they're pretty standard, you know, they all have, they make sense, you know, they're easy to call out, they, they just make sense, right? This is also Little John, he's awesome, he's a car. Uh, next up we've got this, this is called this is a gazebo, and this is like the power station kind of place. We, we normally just call it power station when making callouts at it. Uh, over here we've got store, and over here we have white, white house. So, because there's several brick houses here, you see we have to call them different things. We have red brick, then we've got dog house, which is also a brick house, but we call it dog house. And then this is called White House because it's white on this side, right? So yeah, uh, it doesn't look like there's anybody else here. I didn't see many other people land here, so we chill, we chill. So yeah, stores right over here, and then you've got uh, Blue House, right? It's like a slight tint of blue on it, right? And we want to differentiate between White and like White House, so this is Blue House. Um, it's yeah, White House, Blue House, he's good. Again, store. Store is awesome. They're like, honestly, never land here, but always go there as a second spot because, like, you, you'll land here in the center and then you'll have people coming from all directions attacking you. So, you don't want that happening ever. All right. And then we've got Burger. This is actually another really good landing spot, which I'll be covering later on in the video. 
So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Also, here's a cool little dump, like jump spot kind of thing to get in here quicker. Okay, somebody landed here, so gotta be careful about that. Um, yeah, also be careful. Uh, I don't have a, like a section dedicated to this, but there's also houses back there which people may land in, and if they do land in those sections, uh, they often loot here and then come to Burger and loot Greasy afterwards. So just be careful because that's pretty much the only place that you'll see people coming in from from like outside of Greasy into Greasy like after landing so just just be careful because sometimes you'll have people landing there but it's it's not a very good loot spot so i wouldn't recommend it but some people do it because they, they don't want to get into a fight without a weapon uh, also there is yeah yeah we good we good pretty much it all right let's move on to the next section of the video chest locations in greasy grove there are a total of 15 chest locations but i won't be going over the majority of them because they're pretty straightforward However, there are several in or around Greasy which aren't commonly known. As such, on screen now is a picture of every chest location in Greasy, so if you guys really want to know where every single chest is, I'll be leaving a link in the description to an amazing website which identifies every chest on the map. I also got these sweet screenshots from this website. The most important thing you need to understand about the chest locations, however, is that they are one of the most important factors that are going to dictate where you land and which looting route is the best. For example, Burger has a good amount of floor loot and two chests, making it one of the better landing spots in Greasy. Landing and looting strategies. So typically there are several factors which influence where you land. There's the number of chests, the presence of enemies, the amount of floor loot, your teammates' landing spots, just to name a few. However, no matter where you land, it won't matter if other players land before you and get the loot. As such, let's take a look at the lowest points from which you want to open your parachute, because if you're not aware, you open your parachute at a set height from the ground, so if you're above a low point, you open your parachute before other players that are above higher ground. So on screen right now, there should be a picture of Greasy that is color-coded. The areas in green are ideal for opening your parachute, those in orange will still give you a fighting chance but aren't ideal, and the areas in red are areas to avoid because you'll either land way too late or won't reach Greasy at all. Of course, landing first is a skill to be learned, so I won't be going too in-depth in this video about it, because I'll be covering it in another video. Now for the ideal places to land, there are two very good ones which I normally aim for, Burger and Doghouse. Do keep in mind however that for Greasy you can pretty much land anywhere, at any building and still get decent loot. Even if you don't, other buildings are in such close proximity that you can just move on to the next house and not be exposed for very long. Also keep in mind that you can't control certain factors such as enemy landing spots, so make sure to have at least two or three landing routes that you know. That way you can have a plan B if someone takes your ideal spot first. On screen now you should see an, a zoomed in picture of Greasy. The two loot routes I normally take are essentially the same one except reversed. So if I start at Burger, I'll fully loot Burger then move on to Blue House, Store, White House, Red Brick, Bungalow and then Dog House. But if I land at Dog House, I'll do the same route but reversed. The advantage of this route is that it gives you the best loot, however it's well known, so if there are other players landing with you, it's likely they'll be landing very close to you or right with you. Also, an important point to note is that if you encounter other players, it's okay to deviate from your path to either eliminate them or escape them. This route is just a loose guideline to follow. You'll have to adapt it to your specific circumstances in order to succeed. For the more passive bush wookie players out there, I also have an alternate route for you guys which is very rarely used. Essentially you start south of Snobby Shores at the two houses, then move on to a couple chest locations outside of Greasy, then finally either move into Greasy and then loot it using the first route I just gave you guys, or avoid it completely and keep getting chests on the outskirts. The loot for this route is pretty average, but you're a lot less likely to run into enemies while looting. Alright, that's all I have for you ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something useful. Which place do you want me to cover next? Make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Also, if this is your first time here on the channel, I make tutorials and other Fortnite content, so if you want more of this, a subscribe would be very much appreciated. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.